James wants to scale the, around the face of these rocks and if you fall, I'm screwed. I've got a camel bag on. It's like a lot of money. Plus it's cold. I don't want to get cold. And you know, chance you crack your head on. Oh yeah, that too, but the camel gear, dude. Here we go. Ah, oh, <gasps> mate, I need to get a GoPro. Nice. Oh. Nice. <laughs> I should have got that on film. <laughs> I wish I got that on film. Oh. How are you feeling? Cold. Wanna turn back now? Maybe. I'm gonna have to clean these when I get home. Like, wow. Now where? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it'd be better to climb up there. Ah, uh, that's more than ankle. Damn it. I'm probably wondering how we got out here. We were just saying. Not really. Cool. Yeah. Like, we started over here. Now, we're over. These are gonna need to be cleaned. Oh, I missed you. Okay, so I'm gonna go have a hot shower, find some food, because holy crap, but, uh, it's been a big day. Big, long day. Worth it though, 100%. We'll do it again and maybe maybe in better weather next time. Alright, cool. So I'll uh, see you soon. I really uh really needed a warm shower after all that. You know, just cold, wet, but boy was it fun. Alright, time to recap. Started off as a normal day. Normal everyday day. We were gonna go hiking in the Onkaparinga Hills. There's a lot of trails and you just follow the trails and then we were gonna just go follow our usual route. Hey James, yeah. why don't you just wear these shoes in, to begin with? Stepped in dog doo doo. Oh, okay, yeah, makes sense. One of the shoes. So I figure like walking around in all the mud and grass will wipe it off. Half of my vlogs are literally just me eating and drinking. Oh, it fits almost perfectly. Love it when that happens. Stay, stay at least one adult kangaroo. <laughs> Don't know if this is one adult kangaroo. I don't think that an adult kangaroo is a standard unit of measurement. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So the Sydney Harbour Bridge is, is 500,000 adult kangaroos. <laughs> In distance. Really? <laughs> That's crazy. This time we got halfway to completing our hike through the Onkapunga Hills and I say, hey, why don't we try a new trail? So we went and tried a new trail and that went well and fine and we didn't really know where it was going because it was a new trail to us. So we just kept walking and walking and walking and eventually we get to a dead end. Okay, we've been walking for like 90 minutes. Um, nah, that wouldn't fall under copyright. Are we I'm sure we're on the path? Path. I'm not sure. Points look like paths. Great. We're definitely lost, James. Take that one or the adventure one? It's got an adventure one. Cut to another montage of us <laughs> walking. This is the point in the trail where most people say, okay, time to turn around and go back the way we came. Not us. Because we had already been down to the river where most of these trails lead to, we thought, hey, if we just quickly climb over all these rocks, we can get back to our original trail 
and then just take that, go and get back to the car. Easy, 100%, easy fix. It wasn't. We tried climbing the rocks, but because it had been raining that day and it was still continuing to rain, we kind of kept on slipping on the rocks. We're like, okay, there's a chance we not, might not make it. And I kept on saying, maybe we should turn back. But he said, no, 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 it's fine. So we kept on trying to climb the rocks and it just wasn't happening. It wasn't working. We weren't getting anywhere. And then James fell in. I didn't manage to film it because I was too busy trying not to fall in myself. But James fell in and he's like, ah, we've, I've fallen in. I may as well walk the rest of the way. And I'm like, nah, I'm not getting wet. I'm not having any, I'm not, I don't want to walk around with wet shoes and wet socks. I'm turning back. See you, mate. Do it. Trudge to the water. Please. I'm not trudging to the water. Do it. I'm not doing it. Come on. You've got to make me do this, aren't you? Yeah. Ah, I hate you. I hate you so much. Can't believe you're willing to go back in there. Ah, 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 that's, that's, nope, nope. You know what's hard in there? Rocks up there. Ah, 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 my feet are so soaked. We, uh, we made it all the way through there. So that was cool. Woo! <laughs> Wish I could have vlogged it. Should have bought a GoPro. The difference is, I didn't get my torso wet, I only got the legs wet. Dude, you fell in completely. Oh, that's true. Mine isn't, so if I got it wet, I would have been, would have been done for. Yeah, a good way to get Yeah, great way to get trench foot. Great story. Ah, that's gross. Ah, uh, that's more than ankle. Damn it. <laughs> Trying to avoid that. <laughs> Just having such a good time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure, James. We should go out for lunch. Come to this. Yes! 100%. It's cold food thing. Yeah, lunch time by the time we get out of here. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, if we get out of here. I would love to get my camera out now iPhone will do. Now where? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it would be better to climb up there. Or trudge through here. It's weird that there's a trail here though. Either it's the ruse or it's people, I'm not sure. Sounds really mean, but it'd be funny to see a ruse like slip and fall into the water. Oh. James, man-made thingy. I think we're back on a trail. Guess so. We just follow this and see where it takes us. I guess so. Cool. Do it for the vlog. So we keep following this path and we get back onto land. So we keep walking and walking and walking and hiking and climbing through rocks and all this forestation, vegetation, forest greenery. <laughs> we kept on walking through the greenery and we're like, okay, this. This isn't getting us anywhere. We could just walk for miles one way. And we thought of pulling up the maps and seeing whereabouts we were, but of course, no service. So we kept walking, and then we just get to a point where we're like, okay, we can't keep walking the same direction. We're not gonna get back because we kept on finding trails and then losing trails, and we just couldn't find a trail to follow back. We found a few trails with a few signposts, but they led to nowhere, so that's that was handy. <laughs> So eventually we're like, okay, if we just cross that river, we should be able to scale this essential mountain, essentially. That's what it felt like when we were scaling it. No, it wasn't, it was just a really big hill. So we thought if we crossed the river and then climbed the hill, we should be able to get at least reception and find out where we were. Some people call us insane. I call us adventurers. Made it across and then we eventually climbed up this entire hill, which is it was a, it was a steep hill. That's, it was really steep and I, I didn't like it. Okay, so my phone just got reception back. It turns out there's a road, like an actual actual road, this way. So hopefully, it leads us to uh, an actual, you know, road, and then we can just, I don't know, what are we walking all the way back to the car? Hey James, where are we? Okay. Um, 
I checked the map and it, it was kind of useless. <laughs> it was nothing. It just said we're in the middle of nowhere. I'm like, ah, cool. Well, if we keep heading this way, we should eventually find some sort of road or path. So we did. We kept on walking and walking. And eventually, we did find a path. And we're like, okay, this path should lead us somewhere. <laughs> and we just... We took a gamble, because you could have gone one way and again eventually made it all the way back down to the bottom, which we didn't want to do. So we went one way, found a sign and confirmed that we were definitely heading in the right direction. So we kept walking. Now by this point, we had started the walk at 10 o'clock. It was by then about 11.30, almost 12, give or take. And it took us hours to get out of there. We just followed this one trail, which literally took hours. It was, it was, it was insane. It was, it was, it was tough. It was really tough. And eventually, we find this place called Pink Gums Campsite. And James is like, "Oh, we're far from the car." And I'm like, "Ah, well, that's unfortunate." We get to this campsite, and I'm like, "Okay, so if we just find a main road, we should be able to follow it all the way around." And by this time, we had got service back, checked the map, and it said it would take about two and a half hours to walk all the way back to the car. I wasn't doing that. Because we're broke, we can't really afford to hire a taxi. So I tried calling a few people. Everyone's busy because... <clears throat> so we start walking around on the main roads. And eventually, James gets through to his parents. And thank the Lord, they were able to come pick us up. There was no way I was walking back through the hills just to get back to the car. By this time, we had been walking since 10 o'clock. And it was then... What? About 3 o'clock? Almost 3.30? So we've been walking for almost 6 hours straight, which is just... That's not easy. That's not an easy, not an easy feat to do. So we kept walking until James' dad could come pick us up. The weather was really weird. It would rain would start pouring, and then it would stop, and then it would pour, and it wasn't too bad. It was manageable. It's not like we hadn't gone wet already. But then a storm came in. Buckets of rain came coming down, and we're like, oh, this is unfortunate. This sucks and next minute you know james dad pulling up in the car right behind us and ooh, good thing he did because it was about to bucket down cool thanks thanks right, see you another day man see you probably monday and i lot drier and happier oh yeah hopefully <laughs> see you james see you Will. have fun next time yeah same time next week yeah <laughs> yep and eventually made it all the way back home and ooh, right for the whole week see ya. it's an experience i won't forget but one I'm not willing to relive anytime soon. Maybe if I was more prepared and the weather wasn't so bad, 100% do it again. And that's basically how my day went. How was yours? I'm gonna go sleep for like hours. I'm gonna go have a massive fat nap. Yeah, that bed's, bed's calling me. The warm, warm dry bed where I don't have to use my feet. It's calling me. So have a good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more content from moi. Leave a comment down below because I, I don't know. I, I just do it, it's the internet. Have a good one.